in this example, we're looking at what they're describing in that paragraph above. Okay, so they are saying that we have um, one end of a five foot rod is attached to the center of a pulley with a radius of one foot. The other end is attached at a 36 degree angle to the wall at a spot six feet above the lower end of a steel wire that's supporting a box. The other end of the wire comes out of the wall straight across from the top of the pulley. Find the length of the wire um, from the wall to the box. So we are asked to find the distance of this, the length of this wire, which starts here, wraps around the top of this pulley and goes down to the box. Well, one length I can see, here's the easy part. <laughs> this length here is six feet. <laughs> now we just need to find this distance, the arc length here, and this distance here. Well, um, we have kind of a surprising, well not, it just takes a little trick to do this. Um, we notice we do, we're given an angle, angle, so we'll need to do something with that angle. Um, what we're going to do is come over here and we are going to um, cut this off right here in the center and go straight over to the wall. Okay, because what that will do for us is if we can find this length here, okay, notice we formed a rectangle. So if we find the length here, that will be our length here. I'm gonna call this length X and we're gonna find it. The other thing we have is we can also get this distance here that we need. How? Well, notice by creating that triangle, if I find the length Y here from where my um, rod attaches to the wall up to this point, it's the same distance here. Okay, so I need that. And then the only other thing I will need is the arc length, this section, which notice is uh, at a ni this 90 degree angle here. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so we have, once again, <laughs> a right triangle. 36 degrees, here's our right angle. We want to find X and we want to find Y. We know the hypotenuse is a length of five. What could we use to do that? Well, we can use sine, cosine, and tangent because they work in right triangles. You'll want to make sure that since we're working in a triangle, you'll want to make sure that, um, and we're finding angles in a triangle, they're in degrees. So you want to make sure that your um, calculator is in degree mode before starting this problem. Okay, and we may we will, we will have to switch back, but for this part of it, we want our calculator in degree mode because we want degrees in a triangle. So we have a 36 degree angle. Notice for if I want to find my x, x is the opposite leg and here's my hypotenuse. What uses opposite and hypotenuse? That was sine. Sine of 36 degrees is the opposite side x over the hypotenuse of 5. If I want to solve for x, I multiply both sides by 5 and I get x is 5 times sine 36. Again, that's of 36 degrees, so make sure your calculator is in degree mode when you calculate this one right here. 5 times the sine of 36 gives me that x is about 2.94. I'm going to round off there. Okay, so this side of my triangle I created is 2.94. Um, we are in feet. Now let's find y. Well, y, notice, is the adjacent side. It's the side touching my 36 degree angle. I still have my hypotenuse here. What uses adjacent and hypotenuse? That is cosine. So cosine of that 36 degree angle is the adjacent side y over the hypotenuse of 5. We want to solve for y, so we multiply both sides by 5. And again, since this is a 36 degree angle, make sure your calculator is in degrees and take five times the cosine of 36. We get 4.05 approximately if I round that up off. Okay, so I'm gonna transfer these numbers back over to my figure now. Change my ink color up a little bit. Okay, so this distance here we found was 2.94 which made this distance, because the opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent, is 2.94. There's one of our lengths that we needed to have. Okay, We found this distance 
here in our triangle from where the bar comes out of the rod comes out of the wall up is 4.05. Where that's important is notice we have a square here or a rectangle here also. So if we transfer straight across, this distance would also be 4.05 from this point on the pulley down to where our six feet ends. So, so far for my distance, I have 2.94, then I'm going to have this arc length that I have to find, then 4.05 and six. So, so far the length of that wire is 2.94 plus my arc length plus the 4.05 plus the six feet. Okay, so all we're missing here is the arc length and some addition. Now, we need to find the arc length here. Remember the arc length is the radius times theta, where theta is the radian measure of your angle. We know the radius, the radius of our circle it said was one. Okay, what's our angle? Well, notice when we cut this off, we formed a 90 degree angle, which is pi over two radians. We need it in radians. That's kind of ugly. Okay, so my theta is pi over 2. I go ahead and multiply that. 1 times pi divided by 2 gives me 1.57. So I took the radius, which they told me in this problem was 1 foot, times the radian measure of my angle, which was it was a 90 degree angle, but in radians that's pi over 2. And for arc length, you have to use radians. Okay. So my arc length is 1.57, and I can bring that down here and finish my problem. So my length of my wire is 2.94 to get from the wall to the top of the pulley, plus a 1.57 feet to get this curve on the pulley, plus another 4.05 feet to get down to my six foot mark and then that six feet that was hanging on the bottom there. So we just add those together and we will have our answer. Alright, we come up with an answer of about 14.56. I say about because we did a lot of rounding there so this is approximate. We may be off by a bit, but approximately 14.56 feet.